Hello everyone, welcome to the replay. Thanks for joining me for another card making session today. I'm going to continue on with the inspiration that I've gotten over the last couple of days with the card having a uh, textured background. And, oops. Hmm. And then having something in front of that. Um as our focal but I want to have that blended background I think it looks so good um, I think it's so easy and today I got in some new uh, stencils so I definitely want to try that and see how that look goes for us rather than embossing the back and doing a resist we can just stencil our design on there for a nice soft soft background so let me get everything set up and we're ready to go. Okay, so here's the stencil I'm gonna be using today. It's this huge, big, snowflake looking stencil. It's 12 by 12. Um, but of course, I'm only gonna be using a portion of it to cover my card. So, hi, Karen. Hey, mom. Hello, Christy and Kara. Um, and I just put this blue sheet behind it so that you could hopefully see that contrast I, I, that, that might uh, not show it very well so this is from the stencil pack one it uh, has a total of three stencils in there let me just show you the other two so you can know it's got a scattered random heart background as well that one will be fun to use especially once we start doing Valentine's themed cards um, and pages and stuff like that. Hi, Marta. Um, so there I've got, and, and they're not perfect hearts. You can tell they look like they were just hand drawn. Um, and then the third stencil in the pack is this big flowery rosette type of, um, design and it fills up the whole 12 by 12 piece but imagine if you had a card behind it you know you could just get a portion right there um, I think it would take up just a good amount to really have a focal on there but I want to do this um, is it called Mandela or some something like that um, design is it looks intricate um but it should be super pretty on i'm trying to decide if there's a front and a back it should be super pretty on the card so i just want to make sure all the little pieces are punched out but it's a really really beautiful design okay so today's card is going to be a little monochromatic um, for the most part, but then our poinsettia will definitely be the star. It should be nice and bright. And I pulled out scarlet and candy apple to really, um, add a pop of color in there with all the browns and golds that I want to use. So I've got, um, my card cut from... This is craft cardstock. And like yesterday, I used a glitter paper um, for a little photo, for a little card front mat. I have my gold glitter paper cut for that. I have an extra little piece to do some die cutting of uh, the little twigs. Um, and I'll do that out of here and probably just, you know, uh, just a few pieces I don't need to do too much and then let's see I've got my antique linen distress oxide so it's gonna give me like a like a stained brownish kind of look um, I did pull out gathered twigs now this is not from close to my heart um, or it's not available it's from close to my heart. I just kind of picked it up on the side because I did want a brown 
Um, and I'm going to maybe add it to this so that it gives it a little bit darker color. And then, of course, I do have my shimmer brushes to really add some uh, shine on there and maybe to make it react since it is a distressed oxide. So let's get started. Now I'm using my all purpose mat. I do like to use that when I'm, I mean I could use either a piece of scratch paper, but I like using this mat as well. It does help tremendously. And I pulled out a piece of cardstock in, see, I'm not, it's not antique linen, I'm sorry. What was I gonna say? Fringe vanilla. And so I'm just gonna, the good thing about this mat is it's kind of tacky. So it should help my, my stencil from moving around too much. And I'm just looking for a position where I want the design to really show, show. I hate that. I keep doing that and I keep telling myself not to do that. So to start talking and then give myself a break between words, I need to be better about that. Okay, so I'm gonna do it a little angle and kind of just press it down so it gets a little bit of that tack. Whoops. And I'm just using my um, Distress Oxide. Like I said, in antique linen and I've got the dauber velcro to the back. Let's see. I'm just gonna ink that up and start from one side and go out. And I don't think I need to be too precise with it because I want it to kind of fade out but I am giving it a pretty good coat now I'm gonna take an extra little well I might as well start get a fresh one I'm gonna get another sponge uh, sponge tip so that I can add in a little bit of that gathered twigs distress oxide Kind of feel like if I add in a little bit of brown, oh, that's a lot of brown. So I'm just gonna try and fade that out. It's definitely a very strong color. So I'm gonna see if I can come back in. See if I can lighten it up. Probably not. Okay. Now before, before I, let's see, before I put these away and before I take the stencil up, I'm going to splatter it with, I need to leave these. I'm going to splatter it with shimmer brush so that I can try and get, so that I can try and get some shimmer to react since it is liquid with that Distress Oxide, but I only want it to react where, where the ink is. I don't want it to go on the white part. Just flicking it on there with my fingers. Okay. Now, I realize that when I pick up the stencil, I'm going to have a stark white line 
and I don't really want that. I want it kind of to be more blended. So I'm gonna have to go back with the antique linen and just with whatever ink is on there, try and um, fade it out. And let's see what we get. Oh, so pretty, so, so, so pretty. If I do say so myself, and so shiny everywhere that that um, shimmer brush went, you're not gonna be able to see it. Gosh. Oh, there you go. Oh, that panel is so so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the one that has the antique linen, and I'm gonna brush it out so that it kind of gives all this stark white area kind of tones it down it's okay it's gonna look just fine and I probably shouldn't use my straight fingers so I'm just using basically the ink that's left over on here and whatever will move around from the card I'm loving it. So, so pretty. I guess it is moving around that shimmer pen, probably. So I may have to go back and just throw some more on it. Hey, Rhonda. Hi, Lily. Hey, Laura. Thanks, you guys, for joining me tonight. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So far, so, so good. Super happy. Let me take... You know what? Now I'm going to take the toffee and add some of that shimmer on top of it. Okay, not too much. Because I know those are big stop drops and they're scaring you. I'm just drying them off. It's all right. It's all right. And a little spritz of water. Okay. Let's heat set that. I love the way everything reacts with these inks. with our stitched edge, our rectangle stitched edge. Oh, I got a piece still stuck in here. Let me see, let me see. So once we cut that down, and we know the foam tape works really well <laughs> on the glitter paper, so we're probably gonna need to use that again. Perfectly cut rectangle. All right. I'm going to move this mess out of the way. That way I can clean that up after, after, after. 
And so I'll just add that right there to the gold. Scissors. It is okay. I know that you're looking at my shimmer brush and having second thoughts, but it's going to be okay. I'm looking at it too and thinking, ah, but I promise it's fine. Using a lot of foam tape. Um, it sticks really well. I'm not sure if the foam sheet would work as well. Oh my gosh. So in love. So, so in love. It's all that tone on tone. Looks so pretty to me. I hope you're liking it so far. I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere that. This is pretty much just following the same formula that we've used the last couple of nights. Oh, so pretty. I'm, I just wanna leave it like that, you know, and just put a sentiment on it, but that's too easy. And I've only been on for like 10 minutes, so we definitely need to add more to it. Here is our Comfort and Joy scrapbooking um, thin cuts, stamp and thin cuts. I don't think, I haven't checked. I don't know if you can still get it with the thin cuts as a set. You may only be able to get the, the stamp set. So I'm sorry if that's... Um, all that's available right now. This stamp set was part of the September, October book, and we are now officially into the November, December book. Okay. Now, let's see here. I'm gonna get this flowery one, and I'm gonna stamp it in scarlet, because I do want that darker color in the back. And it is a nice, warm, warm red. And I'm going to clean those edges. Although, it wouldn't matter because we are going to thin cut it. But when you use a bigger block than your stamp and you get ink around the edges, you definitely want to clean those off so that if you rock your block, it won't stain um, anything else. And let me just... Oh, you know what? I could have cut them and then stamped them. I got, some, I got pretty good at doing that over the weekend while I was working on some scrapbooking pages. And we had to cut several of these and I just, I learned my little trick. Okay. And then for the front part of the poinsettia, I'm going to stamp it in candy apple and then roll it in the, the darker scarlet color. I look like I'm bleeding between the brown and the red. Okay. Right. So I'm inking it up really good with the candy apple. Then I'm going to just take those edges, the tips of those flowers, and get them a little bit into the uh, scarlet and so the flower will still be red it'll just have some darker parts and some brighter parts there we go yeah right on those tips everything's a little bit darker so that'll work perfect to coordinate okay doke let's see um I know I need to add 
maybe just a little bit of the green little sprigs. And I'm gonna do that with the New England Ivy. I'm also going to cut some with, with the gold, remember. See, there's where the ink, the block had a little extra. And it caused that, that line. But it won't hurt us this time since we are cutting out. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need this one. Oops, that not that one. That one and that one. And just this little green sprig. I'm move everything over and tape everything down. My washi tape is not where it's supposed to be. There it is. There it is. Okay. And you just turn this until you find out where you see where it matches up. And then it'll match up perfectly. And then same on this. here one more little spray holder okay we'll just send that through the smaller die cutting machine I'm already loving this where our poinsettias, there we go, we'll line up on top of that, and bam, that's what we're working towards. Let's see, we've got a little bit of green in there. Cut another one. Really should have cut these first and then stamped. But you're gonna see once we've got them done, they really do add just that little bit of greenery that you need, a little bit of leaves. Four ought to be sufficient because I do want to cut a couple out of the gold. And I don't have to stamp them for, to get the gold ones. Okay. Oh. Let me see here. I do need to cut this if I want to double it. So just put two pieces of the gold and we'll see if it will go through because it is thicker. I'll just send it through a couple of times. Yay. Yes, it gave us our two pieces. 
Okay, let's move on and see what else we can get. Now, I do need a sentiment. And I want it um, in gold. Where is it? Okay. So, from this seasonal borders, and this may still be available. I hope it's still available. It, it's also from the September, October book. So, if it's available, it's going to be online only. What is that extra little? Um... And it's got this super pretty Merry Christmas um, in a very nice script. Very formal looking. And so I'm going to use that. And I think that I can just get it out of this scrap paper. Just a little bit of our anti-static. Hey, Mary. Hey, Giada. I keep wanting the Versamark to be upside down like our inks are. And uh, it's always right side up. the gold and we are we are adding tons and tons of gold and shimmer because it's all about the golden shimmer it's heat and buff keep that up that is so pretty. That line is two. Okay. I wonder if I can get it closer. Yeah. I want it just a little bit closer so that the sentiment is just really, really on a thin piece. Because, why because? Because we need to put it on a piece of gold. Okay. See, when we put it on here, we need it. We don't want to use too much gold. Just a sliver of foam tape. So shiny. I love it. All the shiny pieces. Okay. So, let me start by 
I need a big old 3D foam tape um, circle. Don't tell me that's too big. Nope, should be just right. Okay, so I'm gonna place it so that it's right in the center of that and we see all those pretty um, petals. And then we can build it up and just put some of the green ones behind. And even a little bit of gold. Or we might be able to skip the gold and use some gold thread instead. I see, I think that greenery really does help. And then I want to use the sentiment. I wanted it to be a little bit overlapping, but I don't think that's going to work for us. So, not a problem. Let's um, get out some of our gold string. I do like the way this looks. We'll just kind of have some random string. So I'm just kind of gathering them up in a little bunch. And I'm going to take some of that washi tape that I used. Just to kind of keep it all together there. be able to just kind of stick that in between in behind our our poinsettia and give it a little bit of just something extra I'm trying to straighten out where it was um, around the card cardboard and it got these little creases so I'm just smushing it or smoothing them out it's not hard to do it's it's following the loops of my fingers kind of makes its own little flower when you spread it out like that okay so now i can just kind of tape it into the back of that poinsettia. And it'll stay put. Let's move this. Let's see when we get that going. I kind of still feel like it should, like it should be closer. Okay, so I'm going to put some foam tape back here. It's like I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Like, should I cut it with scissors? Cut it with my hand. Cut it scissors, hand. Probably should not put 
the tape on the thread so that I can still have some room to move around, so. There we go. Do it like that. Just wanna make sure everything stays secured. Let me see. Am I losing y'all? Looking good so far? Are you Are you with me? Are you liking it? Are you waiting to see how it ends up? You're not sure? Okay. Let's get these guys out of the way. And we'll have to come back and get them tucked in. Okay. Use that. Let's tuck those in flat. I don't I don't want to do them directly opposite. Okay, there we go. Like that, because I want to bring this up right there. I think that'll be a good place. Mm. Super crooked. Well, hello, Melissa Reyes. Have a little gold gem that can go here and it mixes in just perfectly. Gonna add a few more. Come back with a little bit of shimmer. It's right there on the vein of the poinsettia. Poinsettia, poinsettia. I know how it's spelled, but I say it without the I. Okay, let's move everything out of your vision so that you can see this card all on its own. How's that? It still has shimmer in the background where we did the clear shimmer brush, but it feels very embedded. So that's nice because it's not um, super bright, but you can tell it's there. And then we've got the shimmer on the poinsettia. The gold, our little dots, our big drops. I'm okay with the drops. Our gold glitter here and here, our embossing. This is just very, very full of glitter. Okay. 
there we go that's it that's the finished card i hope you like it i hope you can see how we're taking the same concept um we're taking the same concept of that background with the distress oxide or with the colored ink like here was the embossing and here was embossing here we used the stencil so it did the reverse effect um still love using that stitched rectangle to give us a nice clean cut uh, card panel the glitter paper here looks really cute the cardstock's nice too but i don't know the glitter paper just really really stands out having our images on that foam tape give it a good pop and our embossed sentiments so it's, it's you know we're doing the same thing um and yet we're getting a different look every time so keep that in mind if you like something you like a technique you're doing you like a design that you're doing um you know you can repeat it just change out just change out your images if you like or try uh try it in different ways try it with non-traditional colors try it with um you know a different christmas icon you know whatever you might have so this big old stencil in the back kind of mimics the look of a flower you can tell there's leaves and such here so that you feel like it goes with the poinsettia or i hope you do i feel it i feel like it does um so that's it that's it guys that's my card for tonight and um let's see i don't know how long that took us but it was worth it um I will see y'all tomorrow night. I hope y'all have a great evening, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.